did Kate, ovation. Did Kate Beckinsale get a standing ovation? There were no, no. They left. They left. They were waiting they for left, you. They left. They got popcorn uh, in the Kate, lobby, and Kate, then <clears throat> Kate did get a standing ovation. Oh. But you, Rain, are special. Oh, because you got one now. Oh, okay, great, <laughs> yeah. great. Rain, it is so great to see it's you. It's good to see you. Congrats on the new book. Thank you so much. Are you excited about this? I am. So Thank you. Will the book get a standing ovation? Yes, the book question. will get a standing ovation. Um, yes. Yeah, I worked three and a half years on this sucker. Ooh, yeah, dude, I'm that's so a... excited to, to release it to the world. Uh, I, I want to talk to you about this, but first I wanted to mention something that I thought made me happy, because you were on a flight uh, 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 from Boston, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, from Boston <laughs> to LA, and, and here's the, well, do you want to tell the story? I don't I'll tell story. the story. So, for those who didn't see, it was a very slow news day. This was like front page no, news. No, it was great. It, it I made was us a, feel good. I was on a flight from Boston to LA, and so it was five and a half hours, sitting next to a gentleman who, for the entire flight, watched episodes of The Office, back <laughs> to back to back to back. And I was like, what do I do? Do I do I talk to him about it? How, you know, how do I interact with him about you know, should I even say anything? I had my COVID mask on, so I was incognito. And then I kind of nudged him Wait, as but we, he had no idea. No idea. The whole Five flight. And, the whole, whole flight. flight. Yep. So I, I nudged him towards the end, and then I was like, uh, so you seem to like that show a lot. And he's like, yeah. And I, and I was like, yeah, I heard it kind of sucks. And <laughs> And he's like, well, you know, it kind of starts slow in season one. You got to get used to it, but you'll warm into it. And I was slowly, slowly lowering my mask, Ooh. like one of those French girls, you know? <laughs> you know? And I was like, oh, the first season's kind of slow, huh? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, and you have to, it takes a little while to warm into the characters. And, and then it, it took him like 47 seconds of talking to me. And then all of a sudden, it was one of those like, Face melting, <laughs> <laughs> brain oh explosions. Oh my God! I was uh, sitting next to Dwight the whole time. And we bonded, and it was beautiful. And uh, and and and, and, and you, you told me, and then, then you said, "Can I post this?" And you yeah, said, "Yes." Yep. 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 Uh, and it went uber viral. The rest is history. Yeah. Yep, uh, yep. Let's just take a look at this real quick. There I am. <laughs> There's the mask. I was trying to surreptitiously do this so he wouldn't see me. <laughs> So I was waiting till he was leaning forward. <laughs> yeah. Was he eating Captain Crunch? Captain Crunch. He was eating Captain yes. Crunch. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I saw you uh, on social media. That you also have, you have a lot of interesting pets uh, yes. around there. The, here's one you the, right here. This is a. This is. That's our that's our peahen named Alma. Yeah. <laughs> She's a rescue peahen. My wife found her at her horse stable where we keep our our pet. Uh, donkey and our pet Zonkey. That's where you... You, I, you, I, you heard it here. Yeah, yes. you had me at Donkey and you lost me at Zonkey. Yeah. What is a Zonkey? The spermatozoa of the zebra <laughs> enters the... <laughs> all right, uh, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Know, they, uh, my know. dad had the same talk with me when like I was a one kid. Of those... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he explained this. I understand what's going on. And we've got rescue pigs. But the, but the thing is, is like, I have a long, long history of very strange pets. You do? Um, as a child, we lived in uh, Nicaragua, of all places, on coastal Nicaragua on the Caribbean coast. Wow. Yeah, and we had a pet parrot named Jose, <laughs> and he only would say the word Jose. So you'd try and teach him other words. You know, he'd be like, hello, buenos dias, hola. He'd be like, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, noon, and night, Jose. And, and but the best was that we had a pet sloth. So. Yeah, it was like a, we found this sloth and it was hurt and we put him in a nice little sloth cage with pillows and water and stuff like that. And every night he would break out of his cage. Because yeah. they're nocturnal. Every night he would slowly, because they move so slow, slowly bend the bars of his cage. They're strong. They're super strong. Yeah. And then every morning we'd get up and they're nocturnal, so he's asleep when the sun is out and he would be gone. But they are so slow, my dad would be like, he has probably 20 or 30 feet from here. <laughs> Yeah, he'd probably he'd leave wander the around room, the yeah. yard and literally he'd be hanging like in a shrub. <laughs> 20, 20 feet away, we'd go put him back in the cage, close the bars again. Yeah, and the it. same thing would happen every single time. That sounds night. like a kid's book to me. Uh, yeah. That, oh my the God. The Breakaway Sloth. I would read that in two seconds. That's so it's very it's slow. Breakaway Sloth. Breakaways, I would read that. You're uh, always thinking of a way to cash in. Yeah, that's all I need is the money. <laughs> uh, uh, 
uh, no, that's the only thing that matters to me. Until I read this book. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, this is fantastic, by the way. Soul Boom. Yeah. Uh, can we can we talk about what what it's a what it's about really? Yeah, you know, so, you know, the first chapter is like, why in the hell is the guy who played Dwight writing a book on spirituality? And uh, I yeah. do have to admit that I do kind of have a, a secret inner Oprah. And uh, I love topics of spirituality and mysticism and, and religion. And I think they're really important topics. And it's a crucial time for us to dive into some big spiritual ideas. You know, the world is hurting and spiritual tools are there for our personal and social transformation. And it's an important conversation. So it's not just about religion. No, it's not really about religion. It's more about spirituality and, and spiritual tools. But I talk about, you know, lots of big topics like life, death, the meaning of life, the soul, uh, suffering, sacredness. And uh, by, you know, to try and coax some, some big questions out of people. Yeah, and it's, it's very uh, funny because it's written by you. Yes, But uh, it's also, too. it makes you think and it asks some tough questions and has some like, of some nice solutions to it. Uh, I, I, uh, one of them I, I, I took away from this. I, I, I was glancing through it. Yeah. One was uh, that to uh, so just uh, say, say that you tell someone you love them. Yeah. Every day, and that you every appreciate day. them. Yes. Anyone. It, it, the act of gratitude has been scientifically proven to have such an incredible effect on your own personal happiness. To express gratitude. So to tell someone that you love them and to tell them something that you're grateful to them for um, will really benefit your own happiness and it'll definitely benefit theirs. It's one simple takeaway everyone can do every single day. I love that, buddy. That's really cool. Congrats on this. It's a big deal. Uh, I also want to mention uh, your new series on Peacock called Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss. It premieres May 18th on Peacock. Tell everybody what this is about. I'm intrigued about this as well. Well, we've got a lot of celebrities traveling the world and sampling delicious foods, but I am traveling the world looking for happiness. Yeah. Yeah. But like, what? Aww. Yeah. No, that, no so, that's the reaction. Yeah, I feel yeah, that way. Yeah. W w w where'd you travel? We went, to, we went to Iceland. I went to Ghana and West Africa, Bulgaria. What'd you learn in Iceland? Iceland, oh my gosh. Iceland, I... Um, you know, the, the Icelandic people are among the world's happiness, happiest. And there, there are... Hygge. 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 I think that's from, like, Denmark, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it would trigger something. I thought it would trigger something. I thought... I was waiting for you to... Say it again. Hygge. Yes! That's, that's what I'm talking about, yes! It's like the, uh, it's some, some way of happiness. It, yeah, it's a way of being... I thought it was Icelandic, but it might, might be wrong. Yeah, I think it's another Scandinavian. But they Sorry. have such an amazing connection. <laughs> the, the Icelanders have an amazing connection to nature. And they love to be in nature. They love to be naked in nature mm. a lot. But they really... Like, no one in Iceland believes in God, but they believe... That, like, 80% of them believe in fairies. Yeah, Why not? For real. And they, they are happy. like little mysterious mystical wood, woodland creatures. And they're very happy. Um, yeah, I, I, learned a, I learned a ton. Uh, I, I, this show's very interesting. I want to show a clip. Here's Rain Wilson in Iceland for Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss. Take a look. All right, Good let's do this. this. Good to see you. Oh, oh. oh. How are you feeling? Uh, I don't want to be this cold. I want to drink hot chocolate, and I see you, yeah. um, I'm I'm scared. Okay. Okay. It's there okay. You. Okay. Your only goal now is to go in this ocean, and surrender. But if you tell your body, I'm okay, because you you with your nervous system and your head, you control everything what your body wants to do. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My yeah. nervous system and my hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and she and she was right. Yeah, and she was right. That's right. Rain Wilson, everybody, Soul Boom is available tomorrow. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around, everybody. Congratulations.